Hello all, welcome to the one more important recording on uh, the fixers accounting configuration for SAP S4 HANA. So this in this particular topic that we are talking about, so we are talking about uh, uh, asset under construction. So, so far we have covered the high level overview of the activities such as fixed assets accounting and uh, where uh, asset asset is acquired and asset is uh, 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 asset master data is created and then uh, asset acquisition is posted in uh, uh, in SAP using a uh, asset posting uh, acquisition uh, production cost control account uh, that is the balance sheet account and we also have discussed about the concept of technical uh, clearing account so the technical clearing account is nothing but whenever to, to uh, whenever a debit and credit entry is uh, uh, is getting posted in terms of uh, asset asset purchase and asset acquisition the technical and uh, acquisition uh, technical clearing account will take the debit uh, in one 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 transaction and will uh, take the credit in another transaction so that uh, that will be helpful in managing the time gaps and uh, uh, time gap in uh, uh, accounting of uh, of the financial transactions and uh, the accounting team will keep a close tab of the transactions that are posting in the technical clearing account to make sure that all the transactions that are recorded in the technical clearing account are successfully completed in terms of asset receipt, invoice receipt, and asset asset acquisition. So that is a different concept. So now, keeping view of the uh, high level activity that happens in any of the companies. So the important activity that we are going to discuss about is the overview about the uh, asset under construction. So, for example, let me share my screen and explain it in an Excel form about the concept of what we are talking about. So, we are talking about asset under construction. So, so asset under construction is nothing but purch uh, purchasing or creation of an asset for an organization that is uh, uh, mostly a capital a capital expenditure. Uh, 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 capital expenditure. So, for example, asset under construction is. So, here we are talking about finished assets purchase as one scenario and asset under construction as a second scenario. So we discussed about this at a high level and we are now going to discuss about this. So asset under construction is nothing but for example, a company wanted to construct a factory building. So the factory building is something that uh, it can happen in two ways. One, the company, the company may perform a lot of research and analysis with, uh, with its uh, sourcing team or with uh, by by with the help of the management of the organization in exploring various facilities that are already built and are ready for ready, ready to be sold and the company can in, uh, directly invest in uh, uh, buying that facility along with all the machinery and all the all the setup that is already existing and the factory is already up and running so that is a ready made assets or that that that, that, that if the company wanted to buy a, a factory building that is already built and operational so that that particular kind of transaction is not uh, any different uh, uh, from the normal financial asset financial goods financial asset purchase we are talking about which means the 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 contract uh, there will be a price agreed between the Current owner of the factory and the uh, buyer, uh, buyer, buyer, buyer organization, which is our company or client, and uh, so the the the, uh, the so the the, the price of the uh, factory building is uh, nothing but the APC cost of the asset, which is the acquisition production cost of the asset, and that will be brought in as an asset uh, uh, altogether, and uh, for which there is a value already determined uh, beforehand, and which is uh, brought uh, created as an asset in the asset master data. Uh, uh, using the transaction AS01 and then it is uh, further acquired, uh, further acquisition posting is done by using uh, the transaction F-90. So, uh, and uh, by using the transaction F-90, so it will create an asset debit, uh, uh, it will create an uh, uh, debit to the uh, acquisition acquisition uh, uh, technical clearing account and, uh, and, and a credit to the supplier. So supplier is nothing but the current owner of the uh, uh, factory building. So from there on, the normal uh, treatment of all the assets, how it happens in, uh, in, 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 in fixed assets accounting, that the same treatment will happen for this particular asset as well. However, so that's the first scenario. In a second scenario, for example, if the company wanted to build a factory building or a fill, build a warehouse, 
any capital project, any capital uh, uh, investment that the company wanted to buy. So the uh, warehouse, can, they, they wanted to build it by themselves. So for which uh, project, uh, the, so then they can create it as a project. And uh, 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 for this project, they will get the budget allocated. And uh, once the budget is allocated, a project plan is uh, prepared. on various stages of uh, how the company wanted to take up this construction of this warehouse or a uh, factory building as such. And then the company from the allocated budget that it uh, received, so that will keep on spending uh, 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 they, will, they will keep on spending the uh, uh, money for the uh, 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 project of building the building a warehouse or a building a factory building so for example uh, we are talking about uh, uh, the how how we uh, how we do the tracking of this particular transaction when the company wanted to build an asset uh, by itself so for example let us take a warehouse uh, as a warehouse as an example uh, if the company wanted to build a warehouse and uh, in the warehouse there are various uh, divisions or the departments or the rooms that uh, they wanted to uh, put in the warehouse uh, 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 to function uh, to function primarily maybe they wanted to uh, divide this into various rooms so the room one of the warehouse can be goods receiving room two sorting of the material received Room three, storing the material. Room four, that can be like uh, build a cooling system in the in that room, and room five, packaging for dispatch, and uh, room six. and uh, room seven they want to keep it as admin uh, where they wanted to have some uh, uh, people uh, uh, working uh, in the warehouse and their uh, like uh, uh, workstations and uh, would be like their uh, uh, quarters like a small pantry or anything of such sort so if the company wanted to acquire uh, uh, this so this is a high level project plan that they wanted to acquire uh, finally as a warehouse so when it comes to configuration of uh, sap s4 hana so we we call all these elements of a project so for example if we call this as a project and we create the project on the name of warehouse creation and we'll give uh, a sequence number maybe one two three four five six and under this project uh, warehouse creation so all these are nothing but WBS, we call it as, which is work background structures. So work background structure one. So which means, so the company wanted to give a contract to the company who is building that project under the, under, under these, uh, uh, under these work background structures. So work breakdown structure two, work background structure three, work breakdown structure four, work breakdown structure five, work breakdown structure six, work breakdown structure seven. So within within these uh, work breakdown structures, also we have an option to create uh, subsections as well. Like for example, to build a cooling system, if a cooling system is considered as a work one breakdown structure, and they can uh, further break this down as work breakdown structure 4.1, which can be used for, uh, installing the compressors for the cooling system and the work breakdown structure 4.2 uh, which could be for uh, uh, setting up of the uh, uh, all the all the all the cooling uh, control mechanism so something of such sort so anything that company wanted to define so all these all these uh, all these uh, 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 sub elements of uh, a work warehouse can be categorized into various work breakdown structures and uh, these work breakdown structures have to be 
So the spending for all these work-based loan structures will happen in such a way, like for example, for this goods receiving section, they uh, in this goods receiving section, uh, it can have a detail of uh, what all items that the company wanted to have, like a, a furniture that they wanted to set up for the employee to operate and the desk and the system and all that. So as long as the company keep receiving the goods that are related to each and every work-based work loan structure, they do the spending and the spend will... Uh, uh, will will be recorded in expense accounts. So the various expense accounts or the spend accounts that we define the chart of accounts. And so it doesn't happen any differently from uh, any other uh, account. So uh, it, it 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 happens in a uh, by the by the uh, by the uh, by the profit and loss spend accounts. However, so. So these all are tracked in the expense accounts. So, however, technically speaking, so but these are not expenses of the company. These are not the operating expenses of the company. So these are the expenses that the, that the company is spending in terms of acquiring a capital project, capital asset. So uh, so these, these as part of the as part of the uh, reporting standards of various countries like US GAAP or IFRS. So the 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 acquisition uh, cost the the capitalization expenditure cannot be expensive to the profit and loss account at the period and financial statements so which means all these spends that are recorded at various uh, various various uh, uh, accounts for for various work based on structures so all these spends will be tracked with the project id that uh, we have we are going to assign for each and every account or the maybe the profit center or the cost centers and those spends are settlement at period end. It could be month end or year end. So which means so at, 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 at every month end or a year end, so these spends have to be settled to the balance sheet and uh, which means they have to be taken out of the purchase uh, p and accounts and have to move it to the balance sheet and under the balance sheet they have to be shown as a asset uh, asset under construction asset under, uh, under the tab asset under construction so which means so these have to be settled to the asset under construction so here the settlement will happen in two ways so for example if the settlement he is completed by the end by the, the by the time of settlement which means settlement is like for example the the plan of building this work with the structure is fully completed then a settlement will happen to the asset under construction account as a one-time settlement activity. However, if the work based on structure achievement is completely not done, but at the month end, so the balance that was spent, uh, the, the amount that was spent for this work based on structure will be settled to the balance sheet through a reversal journal entry. So which means only for the sake of month end so the expense is taken out from the p and l account and uh, parked in the balance sheet so that it can be shown under the asset section of the balance sheet and uh, the immediately after the month end closing is done the, the, the journal entry will get reversed and th this will go back to the p and l again so again so by the next month end if the settlement happens uh, if, if, if the work background structure spend is completely achieved then this is uh, this is fully settled to the asset under construction account asset under construction <coughs> account. So, which means, so once the work based on structure is created, the spend happens through expense accounts. And once the spend, uh, as, as the spend keep happening in the expense accounts at a month end for the year ends, a reversal journal entry or a standard journal entry is processed. So it's not a journal entry. We have a process of settlement in uh, uh, fixed assets uh, module of S4 HANA. So that we are going to see. So that uh, the, the settlement will happen and the balance will go and sit in the asset under construction account. So if it if it if it, if if this happens to a normal settlement that will go into asset under construction forever. I mean uh, until the time of the asset acquisition. But if it is not uh, achieved, as we discussed, a reversal journal entry is manually processed to take out that funds and move it to the balance sheet, and that journal entry will reverse on the period end. So which means technically, so for example, so now asset under construction. Balance will keep accumulating for each and every work based on structure that is getting settled on a periodic end. So uh, until here, asset under construction is also uh, head under asset section of the balance sheet. But the difference between asset under construction and uh, fixed asset that we discussed 
is so asset under construction is not a finalized asset fully which means this asset under construction will not have the similarities or the features of a fixed asset which means a fixed asset for example if it has a 10 10000 value of apc price or apc cost acquisition production cost so it this will this will keep accumulative accumulated depreciation will keep happening and the month end uh, uh, depreciation expense will keep uh, uh, going into the profit and loss account so which means uh, this asset under construction has a 10000 value until the time this asset under construction is fully settled and uh, a final asset is created. So this will not go through the depreciation cycle. So this will sit as a balance in the asset under construction cycle. It's asset under construction account itself. So there are certain guidelines that each and every company follow as per the reporting standards of the time frame that a company can have uh, the balances under asset under construction and uh, basing on the nature of the project that uh, they are uh, they are going to take up and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Why? Because see, for example, if an asset under construction is remained forever as an asset under construction in the balance sheet account, then it can be termed as misstatement of the financial statements which means a company purposely if they wanted to keep their uh, fixed assets as as, uh, as uh, under the as head of asset under construction to escape the monthly depreciation expense which is going to be huge so then it is going to be false statement of the financial statements of the company so there are certain guidelines that they have to follow as per the reporting standards that are applicable in the company or the country and uh, uh, about the duration and uh, balance levels and all that uh, a company can uh, keep in the asset under construction accounts so once uh once for example so for this work breakdown structure if the if the term if the timeline is fixed as two months and three months uh 30 months etc uh, basing on the complexity etc etc so if the after the after the after this time frame is achieved and the balance uh, and the work breakdown structure build, building is completely achieved and then the balance is settled from work breakdown structure to asset under construction then the, the the total value the total value of the uh, for example if we consider the project value as 1 million dollar and And each and each each asset under construction that uh, is created through WBS uh, may have one uh, various uh, uh, values. And once all the values. So it can it can go slightly different way. Uh, 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 I mean, so there will be tolerance limits that uh, the customer uh, wanted to keep for achieving a project. Why? Because uh, the project uh, the project achievement cannot happen uh, exactly from a penny to penny or a dollar to dollar comparison uh, uh, at the final stage. So for for so so uh, uh, when we discuss so for each and every work breakdown structure, there will be a budget that is allocated, and the project tracking will keep happening as per the budget performance. So for example, if the budget for this project is okay okay so this is this is actual and uh, And so this is exactly the budget, let us say, for example, okay. So budget allocated to each and every work based on structure and asset under construction. So finally, the total project value or the value of the warehouse, it should be 1 million. And uh, if it exceeds 35,000, so what is the percentage on uh, 1 million? So it depends upon the uh, tolerance limits that the company wanted to keep for themselves what is the tolerance percentage that we, we wanted to uh, achieve so uh, 
so once the total asset is acquired and the warehouse is ready and the timeline is maybe 1.5 years so until this 1.5 years at various structure and various stages of the asset under construction this uh, these accounts will keep accumulating the balances and uh, these will be keep on settling from the wbs to asset under construction and once the asset under construction balance is fully achieved and the project is ready then this total value of the project is considered as asset apc which is asset acquisition production cost and then this asset will be created in fixed asset uh, acquisition using uh, using a, a various transaction codes, for example, F-90. And from there onwards, from there onwards, this will actually be treated as a, as equal as a normal fixed asset. And then is when, basing on the timeline that this asset will have, like example, since this is a construction project, if it has 10 years of timeline, 10 years of uh, life, that is defined and we will create this under asset asset class and asset category and we'll define the asset life as 10 years and uh, and from there onwards it will keep depreciating every every month and will the, the balance will keep accumulating in the accumulated depreciation as a as as long uh, as equal as a normal fixed asset so so this is the whole story behind uh, uh, creating of uh, asset under construction at various stages of work breakdown structures and keep on settling the work breakdown structure at period and close and settlement of AUC to final asset once the AUC cost is completely achieved. So in the next video, we will be talking in detail about uh, what all various transactions that are involved and what are all the procedures that we uh, perform in uh, SAP S4 HANA to achieve of uh, how do we create a project and how do we allocate the work background structures and how do we do the settlement of work background structures to AUC and how do we achieve the AUC from an AUC to the final asset creation. We, will, we are going to see in another video. Thank you so much.